The football story presents a football legend, Fabio Cannavaro, born in Naples on September 13, 1973, is a former Italian footballer, a defender by trade, and a football coach. Cannavaro was a versatile defender, capable of playing as a central defender and occasionally as a fullback. An excellent marker, adept at zone play, his key attributes included speed, anticipation, leadership, and precision in sliding tackles. Noteworthy was also his heading ability, despite his not-so-tall stature. A defender with great temperament, skillful in directing the defense, he was appreciated for his technical, tactical, and playmaking abilities. He began kicking the ball in the ranks of Ittlesider, at the Ilva Field in Bagnoli, accompanied by his father Pasquala, also a defender. After serving as a ball boy at the San Paolo Stadium, admiring idols like Diego Armando Maradona and Ciro Ferrara up close, he joined the youth sector of Napoli, initially as a midfielder and later as a defender. He made his Serie A debut on March 7, 1993, at the age of 19 with Napoli. In the 1993-94 season, coach Marcello Lippi utilized him more frequently often pairing him with the more experienced Ciro Ferrara as a central defender. The following season marked his debut in the UEFA Cup and his first career goal. Despite expressing the desire to stay at Napoli in the summer of 1995, after 58 appearances and one goal, he was transferred to Parma for 13 billion lire. During the seasons at Parma from 1995 to 2002, Cannavaro made 212 appearances and scored four goals, winning two Coppa Italia, one UEFA Cup, and an Italian Super Cup. Upon leaving Parma in the summer of 2002, the defender was purchased by Inter for €23 million. Euros. According to him, the two years at Inter were the most challenging of his career. On August 30, 2004, in conflict with the Inter management, Cannavaro was signed by Juventus under Fabio Capello, playing 74 matches and scoring six goals. With Juventus, he won two league titles and an Italian Super Cup. During the 2006 season, Juventus was involved in the Calcio Poli scandal and relegated to Serie B. On July 19, 2006, unwilling to play in Serie B, Cannavaro left the Turin team and was acquired for €7 million Euros by Real Madrid under the newly appointed coach Fabio Capello. With the Madrid team, he won two consecutive Primera Division titles in 2006-2007 and 2007-2008. Despite playing three seasons with 94 appearances and zero goals, his experience at Real fell below expectations. On May 19, 2009, Cannavaro, out of contract with Real Madrid, returned to Juventus. Despite a promising start, for consecutive victories in the league, the season proved to be disappointing for both Juventus and Cannavaro. Cannavaro played 27 matches without scoring any goals. On June 2, 2010, he signed with Al Ali, a team in Dubai, where he also became captain. After 16 appearances and two goals, on July 9, 2011, at the age of 37, he announced his retirement from playing football due to knee problems. His adventure with the Italian national team began with the under-21 team in 1994, led by coach Cesare Maldini, winning two consecutive European championships in 1994 and 1996. He made his debut with the senior national team on January 22, 1997, at the age of 23. In the summer of 2006, despite being indirectly involved in the alleged false accounting scandal of Juventus and risking losing the captain's armband, Cannavaro was confirmed by coach Marcelo Lippi in the 23-man squad for the 2006 World Cup in Germany. During the tournament, he reached the peak of his performance, leading a defense that conceded only two goals in seven matches. In the final at the Olympia Stadium in Berlin, at the age of 32, the Neapolitan defender became a world champion as Italy won against France in a penalty shootout. At the age of 36, he was called up for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. Against Slovakia, the Neapolitan defender played his last match in the Azuri jersey and set the then record of 136 appearances. 
He began his coaching career in 2013 as an assistant coach at Olali, contributing to their championship victory. In November 2014, he became the coach of Guangzhou Evergrande, winning the Chinese championship in December 2019 and reaching the Champions League semifinals. In November 2020, he lost the league final against Jiangsu Suning. In 2019, he had a brief interim role as the head coach of the Chinese national team but resigned in March 2019 after two friendly defeats. In September 2022, Cannavaro was appointed as the coach of Bernavento in Serie B but was dismissed in February 2023 due to the team's challenging position in the standings. Considered one of the greatest defenders of his generation, if not one of the best in the history of football, he won the Ballon d'Or in 2006 and was named FIFA World Player of the Year. Included in the Sun's ideal team of the decade in 2009, he entered the Italian Football Hall of Fame in 2014.